All right, in this segment, I'm gonna to talk to you about presets. And remember, in the Wave Sound Grid environment, we need to worry about not only uh, individual plugin presets, but also rack presets, right? We can have the entire rack stored as a preset. So let's jump over to the plugin window and we'll get you started on this. All right, so uh, we're back at this mono input that I have here and uh, the C4 is up, which is fine. We can just use that as a place to show how this works. Uh, so remember this segment uh, above the actual plugin itself is almost identical to the one that I showed you about the rack, right? That guy up there. Same sort of functionality here. So only here we're going to be talking about individual plugin presets, not the entire rack presets. So to show this, I'm just going to hit the load button and we can kind of see all the factory presets that we have loaded here uh, or available to us here, I should say. Uh, so I'll just going to pick one. Uh, I'll pick something like this. All right. So let's just say we had that on the channel and we made some sort of alteration to it. We said, OK, well, that's really what I want mine to to look and sound like. And we're going to save that preset. Now we might want to use it again somewhere. So oh, I'm going to go up to uh, the save button here on the individual preset or individual plugin and hit save. And we're going to save this to a new file. So it's going to take you out to a Windows type desktop here and uh, we need to create a place where we can start saving all of these Waves presets. So I'm going to just choose User Data. And as you can see, it's a, a typical Windows kind of file structure here. I'm just going to right click within here and create a new folder. All right. And I'm going to call it SCOBY Waves Presets. OK. All right. And then we're going to open that up. And then if you notice down here in the file name, uh, even, even though it calls it C4 Setups kind of dot uh, XPS, that's their file structure. This really is kind of more of, of a folder than anything. So I'm just going to put a prefix on that that is called SCOBY as well. And that way I'll be able to recognize my presets here. So this is our C4 setups. And, uh, you know, you can even give this a name if you want, but I'm going to just do this. Here you're going to name the actual preset if you uh, want to call it something. So obviously this is an edit of a base comp DSer kind of thing. So Maybe I'll just, uh, you know, maybe I'll put an RS in front of it or something, just something to indicate that I know that it's mine and go OK. So now if we go and load some other preset here, oops, I keep going up there. Let's do it here. Let's go load something completely different. And then we want to load back our, uh, our preset that we saved. We go to load. And sure enough, if we look up here in the menu now, we see SCOBY S or C4 setups. This is going to be all the C4s that I ever save. And then I see that uh, preset that I used or that I saved, right? So I'm going to click on that. And sure enough, we go right back where it was. All right. So that's individual presets. That's how we save individual presets in Waves uh, on Venue. Now, if we want to ch save the entire channel strip, there are two ways to do this. And I'm going to give you my recommendation on how to do it here. We can, of course, go here and use the Waves system for loading and saving folder presets. But what I'm going to actually suggest to you is that you go to our folder structure in Venue to do this. All right. So if you notice up here, remember, it, for you guys that are familiar with Venue, if we click on the uh, folder here, we have a choice of uh, factory presets, user presets, or a folder that I've already created called SCOBY presets. So we're going to go here and now we're going to create new and we're creating the entire channel strip here. So uh, we're going to call this uh, mono mono base uh, channel or something along those lines. OK, because it remember it's saving the entire strip here. OK, so I've saved that now and I go OK. And now it's saved all of these settings in one go in that channel strip. All right, so I can come back and load that. So if I were to go and make a bunch of changes here, a bunch of crazy changes here, a bunch of crazy changes here, let's do it, just do a bunch of it, and then go back up to this and click on it, you'll notice that it takes me right back where I was uh, previously. It just gets me right back to that, that channel strip, all right? So in the venue filing system, you can save up to 999 different uh, presets within a folder. So lots of storage possibilities there. A uh, lot of aud audition possibilities there. If you were to go here and save numerous ones of these, let's, uh, let's just do that for the exercise of it. I'll get out of this. We've saved that one. I'll just do it here so you can kind of see this rapidly. Do that and uh, go here and create new. 
a mono base base channel channel. Oops, if I can spell two. Okay, so now that we've done that, I can actually go here and just audition back and forth. And I can do this for as many presets as I have sitting there, right? And of course, if I just cancel out of that, then it'll go right back to the original one. So uh, one more time, just to show you that, I'll open that, go to the different auditions that I want here, and then go back here and cancel, and it'll take me right back where I started. Uh, if you, if you want to keep the one you're auditioning, then you just go, okay, and you're out of it, and you're in the new channel, okay? So easy peasy, really good stuff there uh, for... Um, using preset racks and um, individual plugin presets, okay? And of course, you can offload these if you need to do it. Uh, in our filing system, you have to go to the transfer key. You have to have your USB key in. Uh, we would go to presets here So uh, for transfer. So I, if I wanted to transfer off all of my presets, and this is everything on the console that is under that SCOBY uh, heading, I would just do this, make sure my USB key is in, which it is here and then transfer over it. Now, the only thing that has gone over is all of those rack presets, right? So um, that will take those individual big racks over. If I want to get down to the individual level and just take some, some of individual plug-in presets uh, with me, and then I got to go back to that Windows environment. So let's go, back to, uh, let's go back to load and we'll just go open preset file just to get back to this area here. And there I would kind of navigate back to the uh, this area here where I got all of my presets. So if I wanted, I can go get individuals here or I can take the entire folder over. And notice that removable disk, that's that USB key that I had in. So I can literally just drag over to this and voila, it will be there. So there's my presets on that USB key now as Waves files, all right? So pretty easy stuff there. Let's move on to the next section. Next thing we're going to cover is snapshots. We're going to go into uh, using Waves plugins with snapshots uh, and get these racks kind of recallable stuff. I, I think you're really going to like this. This is really, really fun stuff uh, uh, for Waves and Venue. All right, we'll see you for snapshots here.